Hello chess lovers, I have a fantastic game for you played by a Russian chess master Fyodor Dus Khotimirsky against Mikhail Chigorin. The game was played in 1907 in Moscow. Dus Khotimirsky started with d4, knight f6 by Chigorin, c4, d6, knight c3, knight d7, e3, e5, bishop d3, bishop e7, knight e2, black castles, f4, e takes d4, e takes d4, rook e8, white castles, knight f8 and here comes this f5 move which is controlling the e6 and g6 squares and is not allowing this knight and bishop to breathe. d5, knight g3, c5, bishop e3 and now comes this dubious a6 move and after that move white is simply capturing on d5 bishop d6 by black. By the way, if a move like knight takes d5, then after knight takes d5, queen takes d5, rook c1, c takes d4, bishop c4, queen d8, bishop takes d4, black is in trouble, look at this passive black pieces. And if a move like bishop f6 can be met with, can you find the best move for white in this position? Ready? White can even sacrifice the bishop on f7. If king takes f7, queen b3 check and black is in trouble. Let's go back. After c takes d5, we see bishop d6 in the game. Now comes bishop g5, pinning the knight. c takes d4 and knight e4, intensifying the pin on f6. Bishop e5 and knight h5. Look at this. Knight d7, rook e1 and it turns out that actually black is in Tsuktsavang. It's very difficult to find a good move for black. Black played b5, but this b5 move weakens the c6 square. Now let's see how is Dus Khotimirsky going to use that weakness. Rook c1, bishop b7, and now can you find white's next move? Ready? White played rook c6, a fantastic exchange sacrifice. The whole idea is to intensify the pin on f6. Black accepted the sacrifice, but if a move like just a random move, rook c8, then after rook takes f6, knight takes f6, bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, knight takes f6 check, g takes f6, queen g4 check, black king is getting checkmated. Let's go back. So after rook c6, we see bishop takes c6, now comes d takes c6 and now this knight on d7 is attacked which is protecting the f6 square knight f8 and bishop takes f6 queen c7 but what will happen if black captures on f6 now after knight takes f6 check g takes f6 queen g4 check knight g6 rook takes e8 check queen takes e8 knight takes f6 check black is losing his queen Let's go back. After bishop takes f6, we see queen c7. Now comes queen g4, threatening queen takes g7, checkmate. Bishop takes h2, check. King h1, g6, and queen g5. The queen is going to h6 square to checkmate black king. Bishop d6, queen h6. Knight e6 covering the g7 square. And bishop e5. By the way, Knight g5 leads to a checkmate faster and if knight takes g5 then queen g7 checkmate. But we see bishop e5 by Dusko Timirski opening up this f6 square for the knight. Bishop takes e5, again knight f6 check, bishop takes f6, knight f6 check, king h8 and queen h7 checkmate. What a beautiful attacking game by Dusko Timirski. I think that this was very instructive, how he managed to intensify the pressure on f6 and went for that exchange sacrifice on c6. Your comments and questions please, and if you liked this mighty attack, don't forget to give that thumbs up. Good luck.